Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Ola Mickelson came up with for setting up a local web server with Apache and PHP on OS X Yosemite. Ola agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article here on his blog at the URL shown here. Ola discusses how you can set up your own local Apache server with PHP on OS X Yosemite. You can use the following command to test to make sure Apache is installed on your Mac and also check the version of Apache. In order to start Apache, you will use the second command, point your browser to localhost and you should see the welcome screen. The welcome screen is contained in index.html and is located in the folder indicated by Ola. You can create a folder for your own web pages, for example, a folder called Sites, and you can authorize Apache to use the Sites folder by providing a directory container in the configuration. Make sure in the configuration file, httpd.comp, that you uncomment the appropriate load module entries, including the load module entry for the PHP 5 module. You will apply some additional edits to the configuration to ensure that Apache can locate your web pages on the site's directory. When you have changed the configuration file, save your changes and then restart Apache. You can test your configuration by providing a very straightforward script. You can point your browser to this script in order to ensure that your web page displays correctly. Ola also shows how you can run sites from the Dropbox. Inspired by Ola's blog, I have created my own PHP script, a very simple script called first.php. This will echo back the name parameter that is sent to the script from the browser. I'm now going to test my PHP page in the browser. First, I have typed in localhost into Safari to make sure I get the It Works web page. I have provided the name of my PHP script. I have placed this script under the library web server documents directory. This is the result of requesting first.php. Notice the prompt to enter a username. What I have done now is type in name equals Stephen. Name is the parameter that will be sent to the PHP script. It will display my name. There we go. Thanks again to Ola for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to Apache.